Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to be upgrading this little tiny K40 with everything in this box. I'm gonna grab at least some of it out and we're gonna get started. We have got a longer actual hose instead of the little plastic thingy that's there. Really, really cheap plastic hose. I bought an external little, an inline one to go on the end of it. Just to add a little bit more suction because the one that's on there, mediocre at best. This guy is a little air compressor. Now this guy, this is the one I really wanted. It's essentially a lab burner or beaker holder and it just scissors up and down. So with this guy, I'm gonna make a plate that goes on top of it and it's essentially going to raise and lower my bed. This is going to give me a Z axis. Next thing, I bought a little upgraded laser head that essentially has an air inlet. And last but not least, little thumb screw clamps. That way I can tighten all the air hoses on. I can't see anything, so I hope you guys can. This guy has got to go. This guy, on the other hand, should be quite nice. I can figure out where it is and how to get it on. Let's pull it out and do it up here. All right, first thing to go on is gonna be this little hose. This should give me, A, much better exhaust, B, much more reach, and C, hopefully it just works. That is pretty tight, not going anywhere. Happy with that. Please. That always sucks. So I'm currently using two screwdrivers on the sides to hold this nice and tight against it. That way I get a little bit of airflow. A ton, but a little. Back over here, this is gonna be in the inlet for that, but I would still like to point the exhaust, that way I can put just the exhaust outside underneath the garage door, so that way even if it's raining, my fan doesn't get wet. We are going to reuse the cheap plastic Chinese garbage hose. This thing's nasty. Just terrible. I'm not even sure this is gonna work. Might have to cut some of the other. Let's see how well cheap Chinese plastic crushes. All right, starting to crush. See how good this is at crushing it. Not really where I want it to crush, but it is. That actually grabbed. I am mildly impressed. So now I have an exhaust that I can shove outside the door and I won't care if it gets rained on. Let's do the other side. We're gonna attach it on this guy. And there's actually enough room that I can just do it over here instead of on the ground. It makes me happy. I like this hose though, just Amazon. All right, we've got Real clamps, real connections, actual hose. This is set up. Now I can put it wherever I like, really, because this is 10 feet and that's 10 feet, so I can put it wherever it fits, really. That's a good start. Let's move on to the next chunk. For the next upgrade, we go into the belly of the beast. This thing. I don't actually know how and where this really goes in. I tightened it good. I gotta figure out how to untighten it. See if a little leverage required. I was hoping I would just be able to leave it. Not care. That is not the case. So we're gonna hop over the bench, move over things like the mirrors. First thing, this top mirror. Pop that out. Shiny. Not terrible. Not great. I want to clean that. All right. We've got our good old glasses cleaning cloth and some acetone. I don't have any idea if this is going to destroy my cloth, but they're cheap. Jeez, terrible from the factory. Buy new lenses for your cutter. All right, that's pretty well tightened, held in place. Hopefully this was machined properly. All right, so let's grab out this focusing lens. Oh jeez, not what I wanted to see. Did not want to see that thing stuck on there. It's in there. Let's put our laser head on, but in the machine. Let's hop over. We are gonna screw this in. That's peachy. They're 90 degrees out. That ain't gonna work, guys. Come on. That's not useful. It hits. So the only idea I have to fix that. What about the other one? Does the other head fit? Let's see if the other one's threaded properly. 
that will work. I'm going to mount the air compressor in here because it's got little rubber footies, which is phenomenal. I don't even know if I have room to do that though. We'll see. I need a power outlet here. So we're just gonna put it around by it. We'll go there. Hope it fits. A nice little pre-drill, smaller one. Jeez, what the heck is this made out of? My drill bit? I don't think I've ever used this one. Okay, we'll try another one. That's gonna work. Bigger one. Jeez, that's ugly. It smells like crap. Whew. Don't go in deep like that. She ain't gonna like it. That's not even the best part. I gotta go bigger. Bigger. The one incher. Make sure we didn't hit anything. We even have space behind it. Kinda. Let's drill. It scares me. Ooh, that grabbed. Let's see if we can't put the salvage. I need some cleanup. Good lord, that metal's crap. I don't even think that'll come out. It's so hard, but it's so garbage. So hard, so garbage. Ugh. 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 Such nasty. Yeah, we're gonna do it the cheap way. Cause that is gonna take freaking days. Unfortunately, I don't have any little rubber bungs for it, but I have plenty of tape. That should do it. The hole is pretty well sealed all the way around to the point I don't think I'm gonna cut myself. That's the goal. This hole's now big enough. I can literally just take a pair of tin snips if I can get through this hard metal. Oh yeah, like butter. Literally just cut through it. Grab some pliers, pass this through. Okay. Fold back, seal up the edges. Maybe not fold back. It ain't pretty, but it'll work. Could I have done this better? Oh yeah. Did I? Nope. This little thing has four little mounting feet with no screws, which means I have to figure out what size those are, pop them out, then I have to drill through the bottom to figure out what size those are. I have decided they're going to be a number 10. We're gonna squeeze this little boy in here and, and around all these wires. Now to get it settled there, we're just gonna hole punch straight through the top. Yeah, we've got two roughly there-ish holes. Now we just gotta drill it out. All right, in we go. Let's see if these fit. The easy solution is to do it from the top. Just feed them in and just push. Cause then I can do, then I can access it. Swap tactics, instead of nuts up here, we'll put a bolt. We've got our preloaded pre -loaded bolts. We just need to push them in through the hole. One, that's two. Throw on the nuts, we'll be hunky dory. That's in there. It will probably blow air. All right, that should get plenty of air. See if she blows. Vibrates a little bit, but not bad. It's so kinked, like everywhere. You guys can't feel that, so. Spidget mare. Let's hook it up to the other side so I can drop it, spin it, etc. Now I just need to feed all this through. Maybe if you go into magic, it just keeps going. And going. And going. All right, that's much better. But when it's all the way over to the right, it's gonna, you know, nom it. So, I gotta figure out a system to keep it up. All right, the next upgrade is going to be the vertical table. I gotta pop that. This one's going back in, but I need to remove it to get the table out. It basically protects this little lead screw. And this just pops straight out. Now these guys should just be screwed in. Yeah, just screwed in from the bottom. And for now, this is just going to be a temporary mount, just like that. I can raise and lower as necessary. I can always put my work right in front of that. So that for now, this is pretty much all it's going to be. If I put a giant piece of acrylic on it, well, quite frankly, I now have a whole lot more bed space. I need to remove this little scoop or just cut it in place. Probably not gonna cut in place. I don't even know how you remove that, but we're gonna have to do that. So for now, those are the laser upgrade mods. I'm literally just gonna put a cardboard piece here 
put my acrylic on top and we're gonna adjust the height until it's about right there. -ish. I might get a 50 millimeter gauge because that's the distance from the ring, which is right about there. So 50 millimeters from this focusing lens to the work. And I'm just gonna have to be ginger with that for now. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that. My little upgrades, I'll show you how they work in some future videos because we're gonna be doing that. This needs some love. Tensioning belts, not tensioned. Not even remotely. So we're gonna work on that later. I need to tighten those belts because it loses so many steps when it screws up. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode.